Would you like to stream live from your mobile device? Well, stick around and I'll show you how to stream live on YouTube with your camera or your gameplay. Today we're going to look at two different ways to stream live from your mobile device, be it Apple or Android, either directly through YouTube for just your camera and your face and for whatever is on the camera in front of you on the back side of your phone. And then I'm also going to show you how to use Streamlabs app found down in the description you can download for Apple or Android and how you can take your screen and stream that live to YouTube, whether that be gameplay or just anything on your screen. So first, let me just show you how to stream live on YouTube from your phone. Now remember, this is going to be pretty much the same for Apple and Android because the YouTube app is pretty standard. Okay, so we're gonna go into YouTube. We're gonna go down to the very bottom and hit the plus button and we're gonna find go live. Once we hit that button, it's going to show up our camera. And so there we are, you can see us and we are going to do some editing here. I can change the title to anything I want, Bubba Gattard is going live or Bubba Gattard is live. I can change the visibility from public to unlisted. If I don't want someone seeing it or I wanna maybe share the stream with somebody but not be out in the public. At this point, depending on how many subscribers you have, YouTube may not even push it out to people's feeds, but that's okay. Public is still a good option to use no matter how many subscribers you have. Now audience required, no, it's not made for kids is probably the best one to push. If you're in a school and you're working with students, I would select yes, it is made for kids. And we'll go back. With YouTube Live, you can actually let someone side stream or co-stream with you with this option to invite guest. My description, I'm gonna put in, I can edit this right here and say test stream location. I can put wherever I want. Sometimes you don't want to just for privacy sake. Now here, I'm gonna do schedule for later on purpose because I actually want to go into YouTube and I'm going to show you on my dashboard how I edit some of these other things, add some hashtags, add some of the settings, and maybe even add a good thumbnail. I'm going to change the date to today. It's 2.51 PM here in Kansas City. I'm going to go to 3 PM. Okay, in advanced settings, you can unallow or allow the chat. And if you have paid promotions for monetization, you can select those or someone's paying you to stream. Then I'm gonna hit next. And then I've got this really cool thing where I can do a thumbnail. Uh, now this thumbnail <laughs> is gonna be what I use if I wanna just go hit live right now, I can hit done. And after I hit done, it takes me here. I'm gonna shut this down, I can see myself. But up in the top right corner, there is the schedule button. So if I wanted to go back to that and stream right from here, I can. But we're gonna go into the dashboard on YouTube and actually edit this a little bit. And for my sake, I'm going to edit and add some more time. And there we go, now it's set up for 4 p.m. We're gonna hit done and get back out of there and you can see it's still up there. And that's the thumbnail it's gonna use, which is my normal background for my YouTube setup. Then I'm gonna take you here up in the top right corner on youtube.com and go to my profile picture and find YouTube Studio. When I get there, I'm gonna go over to content and I'm gonna go up to live. And here it is right here, Bubba Gattert is going live. That is the thing I set up on my phone for 4 p.m and I can hit details or this little pencil so I can edit. And there you go. It shows me that I am gonna be going live at 4 p.m. This is central time today. Now, once I'm in here in the studio, I can actually edit more things and it'll show up. Bubba Gattert is live mobile streaming. Mobile test stream, okay. Four o'clock, I can select a thumbnail. I can change this and I'm just gonna select a 1920 by 1080 image to put in there. I also have playlists. So if you have playlists set up for your YouTube channel, you can. I'm gonna select my live streams playlist. Then as I go down, we still have not made for kids. Now you can always do this where you hit show more and it lets you look at different options that you need to edit. I like to add tags like esports, gaming, live stream, streaming, live, mobile, just kind of relate to what you're doing. Some of this stuff is pretty standard. You can put recording date. Obviously it's today. I'm in Kansas City. 
You also have a category. So right now I'm just gonna be IRL, which is in real life streaming. I'm not doing gaming, so I'll probably select people and blogs. You can also turn off or on comments and readings. That way, if you don't want somebody to say something in live chat, you can keep them from doing that. I'll go back up and I'll hit save. Then it's all done. I'm gonna go back over to my phone and I'm gonna go check. Bubba Gatter is live mobile streaming. Look at that, it's changed. Let me see what the settings say. I, there we go, I added okay. Kansas City, time, four o'clock, it's all there. If I go back, and when it's within 15 minutes of the scheduled stream time, I can actually go in here and hit live if I need to. So if you see, it's almost three minutes until live and now I'm ready to go. And I went and hit live. There we go, I'm live on YouTube and I'm testing it for mobile streaming for the gaming concepts curriculum, yeah. So after ending my live on my YouTube app, I'm able to go back into the YouTube studio and check out the stream and others can also watch it if it's public and share it if I'd like to for others to watch. Kind of like a rerun, but in this world we call it a VOD, a video on demand. Now let me show you Streamlabs app. Streamlabs is actually a platform on desktop that's been around for some time. If you know how to stream on OBS, it's very similar. The user experience is a little different on desktop and a little more clean, and the mobile app is really good as well. There are other platforms out there that you can stream from your mobile device to YouTube or other streaming platforms, like Stream Elements is a good one, but it only works on Android. And if you do a Google search, you can probably find one that you like that's free. This Streamlab app is free as well. All right, so now we're gonna go into the App Store, or if you have an Android, you can use Google Play Store. I'm gonna go to search and type in Stream labs now this first app stream labs live streaming app you want to download that and once that's done just open it up you're going to get a few screens of information about what you're doing but when you get here if you are just wanting to stream with your camera like we did with youtube you can use this and have some overlays but really for this lesson we want you to hit stream your games once you click that hit next i also need to enable my camera and enable my microphone. Notifications, nah. There I am, okay. Looks just like we did with YouTube, but there's a few more functions and features. Let's go through those together. In the top left is just a hamburger button where you can go from dark mode to light mode and account settings. Here is where you want to connect your YouTube channel or any other streaming platforms that you're using. So I am going to log in to YouTube and I want to connect it to the brand channel that I have and allow. And now I'm connected to YouTube. Then I'm going to go back and now I have a whole new menu. Let's take a look at themes. These themes are specific overlays with all sorts of different options for you to use. Instead of having to build your own with your own art or anything else, it's basically templates. But sadly, these cost. We're going to skip over rewards. You don't need to know that right now. Let's check out scenes and let's create a new scene. Now there's some pre-made layouts, which are really, really helpful. You gotta name the scene, test. I'm gonna go with the first one, create new scene. Now what you're seeing is that the alert box here, when someone follows or subscribes to your channel, an alert will pop up that you've set up in Streamlabs on the desktop platform. Then the event list is like every activity that's happened, a follow, a sub, a donation, it gives a little list of the last five or depending on how you arrange it or sort it. Then the chat box at the bottom will show any of the chat that comes in on your YouTube feed on YouTube Live. And obviously the camera source is your camera. Let's go ahead and save this style. So now that the scene is saved, we're also gonna create another scene that has gameplay. So let's take that same pre-made one and call it test gameplay. When I get back to the main scene, I wanna flip my phone horizontally. Now that I've made my scenes, I'm ready to go back and I'm gonna hit the X. And here I am. And now that I'm here, I can test my new stream overlay with Streamlabs and stream to YouTube. So I'm gonna hit go live. Make sure you select the right platform, YouTube. When I get there, it's gonna say, do you have an active event, an upcoming event, or create an event? As you saw earlier, we made an event for schedule later. You can select that here with the upcoming event, but I'm just gonna create a new one. And I'm gonna call it Stream Labs test done i'm ready to go i'll put it on private for now just so no one gets an alert i'll hit done but if you're ready to go live for other people go ahead and put it on public now here we go we're gonna go live and now we're live through the streamlabs platform app onto youtube you can see at the top i've got 30 fps which is frames per second it's streaming up 
at a bit rate of 2,700 or so. There's no one watching the two little people there, that's zero. It would have a different number if people were actually watching. And then you see the time. I'm gonna switch over my scenes by hitting the rectangle button on the top right and hitting the other scene, which is my test game, and I'm gonna switch. Now, as you can see, I've got nothing back there, but that's where I would have the gameplay of the game I'm actually playing, which could be something like a Fortnite or a Rocket League or Among Us or anything. I'm gonna go back to the other scene and I'm actually gonna flip my camera around so you can see what I'm recording. Flip it back to front camera and here we are. Now when I'm done streaming, I'm just gonna tap the screen. I'm gonna get some options down below and I'm gonna hit stop. Do you wanna stop? Yes, stop keep the event and archive it. I'm just gonna hit finish. And there we go. You learned how to stream on YouTube through Streamlabs. There's a ton of other functions there and I definitely recommend you check out other YouTube videos about the Streamlabs app, about OBS, about YouTube, and other streaming platforms. It's really important for you to play around and mess with things and try streaming on private when you first start out. That way you can test stuff and nobody sees it. Feel free to add colors or animation. There's other widgets inside the app that allow you to engage with your audience. I hope you have a fun time playing around with all these tools and streaming live on your very own YouTube channel or other platform. Thanks.